Hey everybody, this is Beelit, and I've got some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay for you. Domination on Nuketown. Um, this was a pretty old video. I just never got around to uh, uploading it. But here it is, and I've got some uh, more Black Ops uh, gameplay coming for you. Uh, in probably the next week or two. Um, and in this game, I kind of wanted to talk about the perks. And... Oh, oh, that was a beautiful double. I love how they just lined up. <laughs> it was beautiful. Uh, and uh, I want to talk about the perks, and specifically Second Chance. Now, I was using Second Chance in this video. Um, I use it quite a bit. Now, the main reason that I use Second Chance is because I like to play objective games. And I don't know if, if uh, many people know this, but when you're in Second Chance, you can actually continue to capture a point on uh, Domination. And I'm a team player, I'm all about the objectives, and having that kind of ability is really useful to me. Oh, uh, and this is, I got quick scoped. <laughs> that was, oh, that was lucky. Um, and, and being able to have those extra few seconds on an objective really matters. Uh, I play all for the objective. I, I try to, you know, set up lanes where I can uh, watch and defend. Uh, areas of the map and having second chance allows me to one possibly take out someone who's going to the objective but two just to kind of get their attention if I've got other teammates over at the objective and now I'm in second chance sometimes the the uh, enemy will turn back to that second chance guy but then now my teammates have an opportunity to take that guy down and I've just helped my team just by still being there. Um, also, of course, you can capture points in domination. So if I've just got some sniper who just got you know this small little pixel of me in and was able to get a shot off, now I can just kind of move just a little bit and continue capturing that flag, helping my team. Um, so uh, like domination, I will I like having the second chance on because I a lot of times play defense. And in that second chance, a lot of times, if, if you drop down, people will just kind of leave you. If they're trying to get the flag, they'll just leave you, and they'll try to run around the corner and hurry up and get, pi uh, get by you. But of course, then I can tell my teammates where they're going. Um, there's a lot of practical uses for a second chance, aside from just killing the guy who killed you. And it's really not even about that, about the, uh, the kills for me. It's really just about the objective. Now, I will put it on in Team Deathmatch. If I'm if I'm playing, it's mostly because I have the second chance uh, perk on my AK-47 class, which I do like to use um, for just about <laughs> all occasions. Um, Zengetsu says I only I only use the AK-47, but I use other things. You'll see. Um, but uh, I I just don't understand all the hate going the second chance. I mean, I've I've heard some crazy things that are just untrue about second chance. Um, I've heard someone say that uh, when you get killed from, or w when you're using second chance and you get killed, or uh, shot down in the second chance, um, you automatically aim at the person who put you down. Now I don't know what game, what game these people are playing, but it's not Black Ops. <laughs> um, you know, at least on the PlayStation. I can't speak to the Xbox version, I've never played it, but I can't imagine them being two different games. Um, I would I'd pretty much assume that if they, if they do one thing to one, uh, one uh, version of the game, they do the same thing to the other. Um, I can't imagine them not doing that, it just kind of sounds absurd, but, you know, whatever. I've been, pl I've been killed plenty of times. Uh, while using second chance to know that that's completely false. Um, so if you if you have that idea, I'm sorry, that's not true. That doesn't happen. Um, now, I I can tell you that in second chance, when you're falling, you don't have an invincibility. Um, it may it may be part of the lag, you know, if someone you know, goes down. But I've died plenty of times um, while I was falling. So I can tell you from my experience, uh, you have no invincibility as you're falling. Um, 
I can also say when you get knifed, you do not go into second chance. When someone kills you from a headshot, you do not go into second chance. When someone kills you from a grenade, no second chance. Rocket launcher, no second chance. Noob tube, no second chance. Claymore, no second chance. Any kind of explosive, no second chance. Tomahawks, no second chance. Um, ballistic knives, no second chance. There's a lot of things that, that counter this. Now this guy was stupid. He deserved to be killed. If you're going to, you know, try to quick scope on Nuketown, I mean, you kind of deserve that. <laughs> but uh, there's quite a few things that negate second chance, and it's I I just don't understand why people have such hatred towards it. I think that Ghost is far more of a problem than uh, second chance is, or for that matter, could be. Um, I mean. It, well, Ghost is more of a problem in in this game because of the lack of um, other perks to balance it. I mean, in Modern Warfare 2 and Call of Duty 4, to not appear on the UAV, you had to sacrifice stopping power. Now, that was significant in those games. Uh, Call of Duty 4, um, when you sacrifice stopping power, you put yourself at an extreme disadvantage. Um, because a lot of fights were put, were done in one-on-one -on -one situations where both people saw each other. And if you're going to to uh, put your damage down, you're going to have a rough time. And you're going to have to rely solely on flanks and, and things like that. You, you would have to be smart. You'd have to play well in order to get away with that. In Modern Warfare 2, um, a lot of it, a lot of that was the same. Um... If, you, if you're going to be put in these one-on-one -on -one situations, you can't afford not to have stopping power. Because you know that the other guy's going to. You know, it, it was so widely used that you really couldn't stray away from it. And while that was something that I didn't like, I didn't like how I was, you know, kind of limited, it was, it was good for the balancing of, of uh, you know, the, the cold-blooded uh, perk. Um... Same thing with, you know, World at War, they had, you know, stopping power and camouflage. Um, but in this game, where you don't have stopping power, the ghost is far too, uh, far too viable, you know? It's, it, there's no drawbacks to it whatsoever. I mean, sure, you can't get lightweight, whoop de freaking do <laughs> You know? It's not really that much of a problem. Um, you don't really need lightweight. Uh, you know, unless you're playing Capture the Flag and you're running. But I mean, even... They even made it overpowered in Capture the Flag because if you capture the flag, they can't use the UAV to find you. <laughs> it's it's just freaking ridiculous, you know, how many things are screwed up with Ghost. But, you know, I, I just... I don't see the problem with it. But let me know what you guys think about Second Chance, about Ghost, about the whole balancing in Black Ops. Um, and don't forget to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Thanks a lot.